a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Jan Michael Vincent Jan Michael Vincent was an American actor. He is most well known for having played helicopter pilot Stringfellow Hawk on the television series Airwolf and the protagonist, Matt Johnson, in the 1978 film Big Wednesday. He also starred as Byron Henry in The Winds of War. Early Life and Education Vincent was born in Denver, Colorado to Doris Jane and Lloyd Whiteley Vincent. He attended elementary and high school in Hanford, California, where he graduated in 1963 from Hanford High School. Vincent attended Ventura College for three years and has said, I would have completed college, but the registration clerk literally shut the window in his face for the lunch hour, and Vincent instead took his $200 and went to Mexico to party. Vincent finished a tour of duty in the California Army National Guard by 1967. Career Vincent gained first acting job in 1967 in The Bandits, starring and co-directed by Robert Conrad. Also in 1967, Vincent appeared in the made-for-TV movie The Hardy Boys, The Mystery of the Chinese Junk. In the late 1960s, Vincent was signed to Universal Studios and appeared in several television series. He made an appearance in the Dragnet 1968 episode, The Grenade, as a muscular high school student who suffered an acid attack by a mentally unstable classmate. Vincent also appeared in the Danger Island segments of Hanna-Barbera's The Banana Splits series as Link. His first starring role was in the fall of 1969 in the primetime soap opera The Survivors, alongside Lana Turner and George Hamilton. The series was cancelled mid-season. Vincent also acted in several movies in the late 1960s, including the 1969 20th Century Fox movie The Undefeated, starring John Wayne, Rock Hudson, and Antonio Aguilar. His name appeared as Michael Vincent in the credits of the movie. Vincent guest starred in three episodes of Lassie with actor Tony Dow and two episodes of Bonanza. In 1970, Vincent garnered critical praise for his role in the made-for-TV film Tribes, co-starring Darren McGavin, about a tough marine boot camp drill instructor dealing with a hippie draftee who will not follow the rules. He gave a complex performance opposite Robert Mitchum in Going Home. That same year, he appeared in the Gunsmoke episode, The Legend. In 1972, Vincent appeared with Charles Bronson in the crime film The Mechanic and a made-for-TV love story Sandcastles. In 1973, Vincent starred in the Disney comedy The World's Greatest Athlete, with Tim Conway and John Amos. Vincent played Richie, an alcoholic teen in the 1973 Marcus Welby. MD episode, Catch a Ring That Isn't There. Vincent also starred as the anti-hero Buster Lane in the 1974 romance Buster and Billy, wherein he startled audiences with his full frontal nudity. In Bite the Bullet, he played opposite Gene Hackman, James Coburn, and Candice Bergen. He also starred in the trucker movie White Line Fever. In Baby Blue Marine, a war film directed by John D. Hancock, which also starred Glynis O'Connor. And in Shadow of the Hawk, based on Roger Zelani's science fiction novel. Two more notable 1978 appearances were the surfing film Big Wednesday with William Catt and Gary Busey, and Hooper with Burt Reynolds in which Vincent played a young stuntman. In 1980, Vincent starred in the gang-themed drama Defiance, which received a limited release. In that film, he and Danny Aiello co-star as Manhattan residents who fight back against the gang members who terrorize their neighborhood. That year, Vincent also appeared in The Return, a science fiction film that was released directly to television and video. In 1981, he co-starred with Kim Basinger in Hard Country. Vincent starred in the 1983 action film Last Plane Out. After the completion of his role as Byron Henry in the 1983 television miniseries Winds of War, Vincent was cast as Stringfellow Hawk for the action espionage series Air Wolf, in which he co-starred with Ernest Borgnine. It is the role for which he is best known and remembered. It was noted at the time that Vincent's salary for his work on Air Wolf was $200,000 per episode the highest of any actor in American television. While filming Airwolf, Vincent admitted to having drug and alcohol problems for which he acknowledged seeking help. 
After Airwolf ended, he found roles in smaller budget and lower exposure film projects. Vincent worked with Tracy Lords in the 1991 suspense film Raw Nerve. He also co-starred with Clint Howard in the 1996 black comedy slash horror film Ice Cream Man, which had a very limited theatrical release, but eventually reached cult status via home video as an unintentional comedy. In 1994, he played in a South African produced movie called E.P. Tomboy, produced and directed by Tommy Meyer based on a musical by Bertha Egnos. While in the hospital in 1996, Vincent was committed to a role in Red Line with Chad McQueen as Keller. He appeared in the film with a swollen face and scars, and still wearing his hospital ID bracelet. In 1997, he had a small guest role on Nash Bridges, playing the title character's long-lost brother, and in 1998 he had a cameo in the independent film Buffalo 66. His last role was in the independent film White Boy, also titled Menace, released in March 2003. Vincent was referenced in the animated sitcom Rick and Morty in the season 2 episode titled, Interdimensional Cable 2, Tempting Fate, wherein the family watches a fake commercial for an action-adventure sci-fi movie called Jan Quadrant Vincent 16, starring a fictionalized version of Jan Michael Vincent. Personal Life Vincent married Bonnie Porman in 1968, and they had a daughter, Amber Vincent, in 1972. The couple's divorce was finalized on January 2, 1977. Vincent remarried in 1986. His second wife, Joanne Robinson, left him and entered a restraining order against him in 1998, alleging that he had abused her since their marriage. Vincent battled alcoholism and intravenous drug use for much of his life. In 1977, 1978, and 1979 he was arrested for possession of cocaine, and in 1984 and 1985 he was arrested after two bar brawls. He was charged with felony assault in 1986, but was acquitted after his attorney argued that the woman tripped and fell on a telephone cord in his home. Vincent then was arrested for drunk driving, but avoided jail by entering rehab in 1988. In 2000, a $374,000 default judgment was made against him after his former girlfriend alleged he had physically assaulted her after their breakup and caused her to miscarry their child. During the 1990s, he was involved in three severe automobile collisions, which he barely survived. In an accident in August 1996 Vincent broke three vertebrae in his neck. He sustained a permanent injury to his vocal cords from an emergency medical procedure leaving him with a permanently raspy voice. The first near-fatal accident occurred in February 1992, and the third happened in September 1997. Vincent was charged with drunk driving again after his 1996 accident, and once again sentenced to rehab and placed on probation. In an interview on the television program The Insider on September 18, 2007, when asked about his 1996 car accident, Vincent answered, you know, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't remember being in an accident. In 2000, Vincent violated probation for his prior alcohol-related arrests by appearing drunk in public three times and assaulting his fiancée. As a result, he was sentenced to 60 days in the Orange County Jail. Vincent was involved in another automobile accident in 2008. In an interview on October 24, 2014, with National Enquirer, Vincent revealed that his right leg was amputated just below the knee in 2012 after he contracted a leg infection as a result of complications from peripheral artery disease. After that he walked with a prosthetic limb, although he was sometimes forced to use a wheelchair. Death Vincent died on February 10, 2019, aged 73, in Asheville, North Carolina due to cardiac arrest while hospitalized at Mission Hospital Memorial Campus. Bradycardia, a decreased heart rate, was listed as an underlying cause of death. His death was not publicly announced until March 8, when TMZ broke the news and showed a slightly redacted copy of Vincent's death certificate. He is survived by his third wife, Patricia Ann Christ, and his daughter, Amber Vincent, from his first marriage. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?